What is the difference between these athletes' muscles, these aging muscles, and even these dancers' muscles? All are covered in skin, cushioned by fat, supported by bone, fed by blood vessels. But deep within our muscles' cells lies an organelle which produces most of our body's energy, the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Some cells have many mitochondria, others fewer. Some mitochondria are intact, others damaged, and the number and condition of mitochondria makes a huge difference in all of our cells. Dr. Vamsi Mutha does groundbreaking research on mitochondria. He explains how mitochondria affect cells that make up muscle fibers. Our skeletal muscle actually has two different types of fibers, dark meat and white meat, and sometimes called slow twitch and fast twitch fibers. And depending on what activity we're doing, we'll either use more of the fast twitch fibers or more of the slow twitch fibers. So during a sprint, we'd want to use the fast twitch fibers. Fast twitch fibers need energy very rapidly. Slow twitch fibers, on the other hand, have to be able to perform for a long period of time. These slow twitch fibers are dark because they're actually packed with mitochondria. That's actually what makes them dark. Slow twitch fibers have more mitochondria for more sustained energy. As we do exercise training, we're actually telling our muscle cells to produce more mitochondria within our skeletal muscle. How do these reserves of mitochondria provide energy for endurance? Each of the cells in our body use something called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, as the high energy currency. And this is the energy source that's going to be fueling the various motors, the various pumps in each of our cells. So when we eat food, for example, glucose, that's going to enter into our cells and through three main metabolic pathways, that glucose is going to get converted into ATP. And the three main pathways are known as glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. These three pathways are linked in our cells. Glycolysis occurs outside the mitochondria, uses no oxygen, and quickly produces only two ATP. It also produces a chemical that triggers the Krebs cycle. Both the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain happen inside the mitochondria, use oxygen, and together produce as many as 36 ATP, fuel essential for endurance performance. After about 30 seconds or after a minute or two, depending on how much glycogen reserves we have, we need to switch over into other fuels, fuels that get metabolized through the mitochondrion. We actually have a fixed number of muscle cells, so when we're doing exercise training, one of the things we're doing is we're increasing mitochondria number. But not all exercise training is equal, as Ariana Green saw when she danced the Nutcracker. I remember being dumbfounded when the prima ballerina came backstage and I thought she was going to die. She was panting. She said, please, somebody, stage hand, undo my, undo my costume. I can't breathe. I can't do anything. And later I realized that this happens all the time. These beautiful dancers don't have stamina, don't have endurance. Dancers train for precision, strength, and control. But they may not build up stores of mitochondria in their muscles, so they rely heavily on fuel produced in glycolysis. But no matter how much mitochondria we have, at some point they perform less and less efficiently. Part of the reason has to do with a unique feature of mitochondria. They have their own second set of circular DNA. And that DNA may have everything to do with the difference between these muscles and these. There's a mitochondrial DNA theory of aging. Mitochondrial DNA have poor DNA repair mechanisms. And on top of that, mitochondrial DNA tend to accumulate more mutations. 
at a higher rate than the nucleus. And this is because the mitochondrion is exposed to a lot of oxygen, and sometimes the oxygen can have toxic metabolites that can lead to mutations in the DNA. So we believe that one of the things that's happening is that as mitochondrial DNA accumulates mutations, our ability to produce energy in an efficient manner decreases, and that this is what might be contributing to the aging process. Oxygen invigorates the work of mitochondria, but may also lead to their destruction. Our cells are the stage for everything that happens in our bodies life, energy production, aging, and mitochondria play center stage.